So um, we've made our uh, beakers here using clay and uh, granitized sand for inclusions. And I've dried out quite a bit and we've inscribed some art work on it. If you can see there's engraved in some geometric forms which are quite consistent with the record, the archaeological record. Um, and our next stage is we've crushed the ball up, we've weighed it here, so we had about I think roughly 80 grams and um, I'm, I have some processed clay I'm taking it and I'm adding it in bit by bit and I'm just walking it through all the way into the clay just to give a nice consistency and basically we're going to see if the organic temper acts as like a glue and binds the clay together and we're going to test it um, the efficiency of using this bone temper for production and then later we'll see how it is during foreign but if you look closely here you can see there's the inclusions in the of bone but there's still a little bit of work to be done with this now it still has to be quite embedded through the clay i'm going to take a little bit more now and add it in But this is based on um, some uh, beaker pot found in um, Grangestone Circle in Loch Gore. And uh, they found, they did some uh, petro petrology analysis and uh, discovered that there was a uh, bone in fact was used <coughs> in the beaker.